Hello and welcome to another exclusive property video for Peter Clark in Leamington Spa. Here we find ourselves on Hermione Close, on Warwick Gate, Heathcote in Warwick. A stone's throw from fantastic schooling, local amenities and both Warwick and Leamington town centres. This particular property is available exclusively through Peter Clark and has interior accommodation comprising five well-proportioned bedrooms, family bathroom, two en suites, two sizeable reception rooms, a refitted modern family kitchen, utility room, conservatory and guest WC. Outside the property benefits from driveway parking and a detached double garage, whilst to the rear is a beautifully proportioned and recently landscaped rear garden. Let me show you around. Sorry, we've got a helicopter flying overhead now, so hopefully that's not too intrusive. So as you can see, we've got a recently updated front footpath and lovely entrance door. As we come in through the front door, we've got stairs rising to the first floor landing. On our left hand side is the dining room, kitchen through to the back of the picture there there's a sizable cloak storage cupboard which goes under the stairs and then off to the right hand side we've got this wonderful dual aspect living room let's start there so centrally mounted feature fireplace as you can see and we've got windows and french doors which then open out into that lovely conservatory very versatile space that can make a wonderful garden dining room as well if we spin round you can see double glazed windows to the front elevation and we're located on a private section of the road with block pave driveway to the front. I'll show you into the conservatory now because it really is a good size. Tiled floor in here. We've also got central heating and double glazed panels to three sides as well as the roof. You've also got a high level roof light, ceiling mounted uh, fan and lighting as well and then French doors which go out onto that rear garden and the garden is absolutely breathtaking. Very recently done and absolutely stunning and it's also really really good size. Turning round back into that living room and we'll head through into the hallway. Now I'm not going to lead you into the dining room and uh, I'll tell you why in just a second but if we carry on into the refitted kitchen so you've got this lovely off-white kitchen with stunning quartz work surfaces over and a range of integrated appliances including fridge and freezer, full-size dishwasher, halogen, sorry, induction hob and overhead extractor, fan-assisted electric oven and combination microwave. It's also centrally mounted island with a breakfast bar and you've got the one and one and a half bowl stainless steel sink and drainer with a window there looking out onto that lovely garden again. Off onto the side we've got the utility which matches the main kitchen but behind me the current owners have actually opened up the wall putting this lovely archway through into the dining room to make it a much more usable space. As you can see they've comfortably got seating for six people there and look how much space there is still left in this room. It's a really really good sized dining room for a modern house. You've also got double glazed window to the front elevation and then that door heads back onto the uh, onto the entrance hall. So pop back into the utility room as I say matches the main body of the house and you've got space and plumbing for both washing machine and tumble dryer in here as well as an additional stainless steel sink. Rear access door leading out onto the rear garden and then just behind me here we also have the guest WC modern suite there with a corner mounted vanity unit wash hand basin with under can storage you've got the low level WC and of course the heated towel rail this lovely wood effect floor tiling continues throughout kitchen utility and into the guest WC another useful understair storage cupboard just there so it's packed full of loads of storage this place it really is and it's an amazing size so we've got two reception rooms conservatory breakfast kitchen utility and guest WC to the ground floor 
let's head up to the first floor landing and I can show you the bedrooms there. So really well proportioned landing space. You've got front facing double glazed window which looks out onto the front of the property. Off to the left hand side we have the master bedroom and over on the other side we have bedrooms four and five and the family bathroom. And let's start off on this floor in the principal bedroom here. Large double glazed window to the front elevation. All the furniture in here is freestanding so this will all go but as you can see loads and loads of storage furniture in here. And they've got enough room for a full size double bed as well as two large double fronted built in wardrobes or in fact freestanding wardrobes. That really big dressing table and chest of drawers and they've also got two further chest of drawers as well. In addition just through the archway there there's a further dressing room and this also has these two large built-in storage wardrobes which have got both shelving and hanging storage space. Additional window there to the rear which is obscured and double glazed and then we open up into the modern ensuite shower room. This comprises low level WC with dual flush, vanity unit mounted wash hand basin and you've got obviously the enclosed shower cubicle with the dual headed shower and the sliding glass screen. Central heated towel rail and another obscured double glazed window to the rear elevation. Let's head back through and I can show you those other two bedrooms. So straight ahead of us is the smallest bedroom of all, but it's still nine and a half foot by eight and a half foot. In fact, it's over those measurements. So it will still take a double bed as a guest if you want it to, but it's a really good office space, single bedroom, nursery, playroom. It's incredibly adaptable. You've got a front facing double glazed window, central heating radiator, and obviously ample space for a bedroom. Alongside this, bedroom four. Now, you don't have to have a peloton in here if you don't want to, but again, this is a, a perfectly acceptable double room. You've got double glazed window to the rear elevation. This room will easily take a double bed and a wardrobe, bedside tables, no problem whatsoever. But in here, we've got a large sofa, obviously the peloton bike, and then two large chest of drawers as well as a big side table. So loads of room in here. Next on the stop, we have the family bathroom. This comprises a three-piece modern white suite with low-level WC, panelled bath. And on there, we've got the shower head attachment. And you've also got the pedestal wash hand basin. And we've got ceramic tile and two floor and all splashback areas, centrally heated towel rail, and of course, the obscured double glazed window to the rear elevation. Right, let's continue. So that was three well-proportioned bedrooms family bathroom, dressing room, and principal bedroom had the ensuite. Up here we've got two further large double bedrooms and a Jack and Jill ensuite. But before we go any further, again, a really big landing space. You've got a built-in storage cupboard. It does house the uh, Boilermate um, hot water cylinder, but it does still give you extra storage in there as well. Great space for drying. And as you can see, they've got an armchair up here, so it would be a fantastic study space or play space for the kids. And here you've got another double bedroom. Now, both of these are in excess of 15 foot. In fact, I think they're 15 foot 11, if memory serves correctly. Full size double bed, as you can see on my right hand side. We've got an office desk, two large chest of drawers, and the wardrobes. All of the furniture will go, obviously, but it's just to give you an idea of just how big this space is easily take a double bed if not a king and um, in fact super king would fit up here no problem at all and this wardrobe is absolutely vast now i'm not going to open it because i promised the vendor i wouldn't but it is a really really big space just to remind you again that's a full size double bed at the far end there got front facing double glazed window and additional side facing double glazed windows as well it's also a loft access hatch here and apparently there's a drop down ladder and there is a light up there also Spinning round, the aforementioned Jack and Jill ensuite. Again, modern white suite comprising low level WC. You've got this vanity unit mounted his and hers wash hand basins with under counter storage. 
and then an updated shower with new screen if I can get a shot in here as well you'll see this has just been retiled and you've also got dual headed shower as well just popping back central heated towel rail and then Felix roof light to the rear elevation and look at that it's just started raining <laughs> typical right let's press on through here we drop into bedroom three another really really large double room huge amounts of furniture in this room uh, but again similar size to the last one full-size double bed in here but you've got two dressing tables two chests of drawers countless Fortnum and Mason um, hampers as well as a couple of uh, chairs as well but the room takes it it's a really really phenomenal size dual aspect with side and front facing double glazed windows as well and this huge built-in wardrobe now the wardrobe just to explain if I step over here let me spin around runs the full width of that wall and is considerably deeper than you think so it really is a great space to put suitcases Christmas decorations and stuff at the back and then you've got full length hanging across the, uh, the, the the whole of the width of the space there if I can step into the corner a little bit more again you can see a really really lovely sized double bedroom and then the doorway back onto that second floor landing so overview of the whole property we've got two double bedrooms on the second floor as well as that lovely Jack and Jill ensuite. First floor we've got three further bedrooms. Principal bedroom also benefits from a dressing room and an ensuite and we've got that lovely family bathroom as well. To the ground floor as we head down it's a very spacious entrance hallway complete with a new composite front door. Well proportioned dual aspect living room, conservatory, dining room, breakfast kitchen and of course utility and guest WC. Outside we've got the detached double garage with driveway parking whilst the rear, let's see if we can make the most of it before it starts throwing it down with rain, we've got this absolutely stunning landscape rear garden. Now I'm hoping it really does show up as well as I hope it does on this camera but it is an absolutely beautiful beautiful space. Wall to three sides but you've got this lovely contemporary style fencing over the top as well. Huge patio dining area with outside tap and access directly from the utility room as well as the conservatory dining area. You've got two artificial grass areas here with a further one down the steps which lead over to that beautiful summer house which will also stay. The pergola is composite so you've got a really good long lasting outside dining space complete with outside power supply so if you're going to have a barbecue if you're going to sit out and enjoy the sunshine this is the spot to do it in just spinning back round you can see just how lovely this property is and how much space you've got gated side access onto the uh, the driveway there on the right hand side and if I pan through you've also got potential here for for the lawn play area and or they've used it as a vegetable patch plenty of space for garden sheds and storage which is tucked away and what I haven't mentioned the detached double garage also has side access through this lockable door here and features two electrically operated up and over Garador electric garage doors there's also power and lighting and plenty of potential loft storage in there as well if you need it so there we have it folks an absolutely beautiful five bedroom three bathroom two reception room plus conservatory detached family home in Heathcote in Warwick I think you'll agree it's beautiful and it's available exclusively for Peter Clark so if you have any further questions relating to this or any of the other properties on our books please do give me a call on 01926 429 400 my name's Matthew Corral thank you for watching